Welcome to the Landa House YouTube channel. I'm Seth. Currently, my off-grid studio and shed has 500 watts of solar going to it, and I'm looking to increase that significantly. So first of all, I'm gonna have a 100 watt panel here in the middle, and then I'm gonna add another set of 250 watt panels over on this side. So basically, one set of panels is going to power the shed lights and studio lights, and then the middle 100 watt panel will be for product testing. And then over here on the other side, there's gonna be 500 watts that I'll be able to go back and forth between charging up different things off the grid. And that way I won't have to disconnect my studio lights to attach to a battery. So in this video, we're gonna be installing another rack mount like this one. So if you're interested in that, then continue watching. Because I already have this frame here, I'm just going to add to that by a single four x four post over here. So looks like I need to dig a new hole that is 100 inches away from this back one over here. Now, I'm actually standing above my septic tank drain field. And so I can't uh, dig down into this spot. And so if you notice the back is the only one that has a four x four sunk into the ground. So I'm going to extend out over here and dig down there and not mess with over here any. It warmed up real quick out here. All right, so my first step is to measure out 100 inches from this post right here and begin digging down. Uh, let's see, so we got right here. All right, so that's where I'm gonna start this dig. Doesn't have to be exact because I've got plenty of extra of this unistrut to work with. I also want to keep this to as close to the same plane as I can. So I'm going to use this uh, piece of unistrut and try to match up the general angle here. Okay, way up there. I've dug this hole maybe, I don't know, 18 inches deep or so. I wanted to see how I'm doing as far as height goes. So I'm gonna use a level and uh, I guess this same piece of unistrut. Yeah, so I only need to go down probably another four or five inches. Okay, I think this is gonna be it for us here. I stuck a couple of rocks down there to help drain out some water if it ever gets in there. One last time, let me check the level here. Yep, that's where we want it, right there. All right, so I can pull this off and then I want to do level on the two sides here and then backfill with some dirt. I'm basically just matching the same angle that I have here. So I want to go ahead and find this length. We've got 61 inch. Looks like I stepped this board right here down about uh, oh, an inch or so from the back. And so on this one, I'm going to do the same. Now I probably won't get the exact pitch correct, but I think it'll be close enough for this work. All right, just for now, I'll have to see if I can match this angle as best I can here. Next screw, I'm not gonna put this one all the way in. That way I can use a level to try to get this pretty close. Okay, so here are my thoughts. If I put the unistrut up on the previous one, I can then hold this up to about the same distance there and then use a level Well, that's weird. It's just close enough. It doesn't have to be perfect. As long as it's facing the sun for this uh, little off-grid shed, I'm happy enough. Like I was mentioning before, I can't dig anywhere on this lower side because of my septic stuff. So I've got a paver stone and that can be the base of my other support leg here. So about like that. And now I just wanna level this thing out and uh, put some screws in. But I think I'm gonna cut this down a little so it doesn't uh, interfere with the uh, 
the solar panel. It shouldn't, but anyway, about right there should do it. Okay, right there looks good. I believe I'm going to offset this just a little bit from the other side. So let me mark where this is and then I'll take a measurement here. All right, so the other side needs to be placed at about 10 inches up. Okay. All right, I've simply got some Torx head screws with some big washers on them. And I'm uh, just gonna place this at the mark I just made and get that uh, screwed into place. One of the reasons I wanted to offset like this is because when I place this smaller panel up here, that'll give me a bit more um, stuff to grab onto up there. So I think it'll work out pretty good. I'm gonna have to use uh, probably some really big washers and just clamp around the frame of this one because the screw holes are in a different position than the big panels. Sadly, I pushed the mute button on my microphone and so you get a voice over. Here I am just simply taking the tape measure to see the spacing between the bolt holes here on this solar panel and that way I can add my other unistrut up top to match that hole and that way I'll be able to use uh, nuts and bolts to keep this panel in place on this new rack. I'm just using a tape measure to transfer the measurement that I just found from the lower unistrut section up to the top just uh, marking, I think it was uh, 39 and a half inches, something like that. Doesn't matter, but uh, as long as it matches up for my build, it's all good. So I'm also adding that same mark over here on the other side so that I can add the uh, Unistrut evenly on both sides to match up with those holes. I really enjoyed using the Unistrut as my solar panel mount. I probably could do a little better job at trimming off the ends or perhaps scooting the unused bits deeper under the solar panels, but uh, the way the holes line up, it really works out well to uh, mount these panels. Gonna be doing it again here pretty soon. In a previous install, I used clamps on the Unistrut to help hold the solar panels in place. Otherwise, they are quite heavy to hoist up there, hold on to them while trying to thread those bolts and nuts together in the right spot. Um, so I definitely recommend that you do that if you're going to be installing panels like this because uh, this process took me much longer than it should have trying to um, get this bolt up under the panel into the hole and then find its way into the correct spot on the unistrut and then uh, as soon as I would let go with one hand the panel would slide down and I would uh, have to grab it real quick so anyway I finally got it installed and um, it worked but using clamps, or if you've got uh, somebody else that can help you, that's even better. So if you like to struggle, do it this way. If not, uh, be smart, use clamps or somebody else. This is what the bolt looks like on the back side. I haven't tightened them down yet, as you can see, but at least it is uh, holding the panel up. So I'm gonna simply take a uh, wrench and then also a socket set to get all of these tightened up. And uh, that way they won't be uh, coming off, but I got to move the unistrut up and uh, make sure it lines up with the hole before I uh, lock it into place. You can see I used a screw to hold it there temporarily. Well, my sister stopped by for about three and a half hours and we went for a very long four wheeler ride. Very fun. Um, but I'm back out here to do some more work. So I've got the new panels installed, the uh, 260 watt. Looks like I probably could have dropped this down just a little bit more. There's a little bit of an angle to it, but it's close enough for my book. So now it's time to tackle this. Oh yeah, one last thing. I did add these little blocks of wood because this was uh, just poking up a little too high. So anyway, that'll keep it nice and secure. All right, so there should be just enough space for this panel to fit right up in here. And I'm gonna be using some bigger washers and it's gonna come out from here and then hopefully clamp on to the top of the panel and uh, that will hold it in place. So, all right, let's go ahead and see what we can do about this. Not entirely certain how well this is going to work, but let's give it a try here. So get those cords down there, rest that up there. 
And then I'm hoping I've got uh, some bolts long enough, let's go about right there, that I can uh, go up through here. I think maybe I'll add another washer inside as a gap. That might work. My daylight is fading fast, but let me show you what I've got here. So, uh, got this little panel installed using just some washers and bolts and nuts there. And then on the top one, I used an extra large, and I think that's going to hold quite nicely. If for some reason it blows off of here, I'll come up with something else, but looking good. So all the wires are hanging down with their MC4 connectors, ready to be installed into uh, some 10 gauge wire. And I have got that right here, as you can see. So um, basically I have got, yeah, um, two, I got black and red at 150 feet. And I measured out, I think to the building is like 70. So I should be able to pull the wire up in there and have a little extra. That's the hope anyway. Um, so with the remaining uh, 20 or 30 minutes of light, let's go ahead and stretch out some conduit, stretch out some wire. And uh, first of all, I wanna see if I can get two pieces out of each of these, because I have to have uh, one run for these panels and then one run for the single panel here. So let's go ahead and make sure we have enough wire before I go uh, taking these off the hill and cutting them. I purchased this solar wire from an eBay seller that I have actually purchased from before, and uh, it was a pretty decent price. I don't remember what it was, but uh, free shipping, and it got here in about three days, so I'm pleased enough with it. Uh, so I basically want to take this spool here and unwind it and see if I can go down to the shop down here and then come back basically seeing if I have enough to get two runs out of this. That looks like more than 150 feet. I'm fine with it if it is. Maybe they gave me a little extra. I think what I'm gonna do here is go up under this little block and then connect it so that I know it's gonna be long enough and then run this out to the building and that way I can tell, uh, I guess run it back and cut it in half. Okay, so I want this to go down some conduit to about right here. Put a board on that to hold it down. Let's give it a little slack. Man, I don't know. No, that's not gonna be enough. I'm gonna have to have another, oh, I don't know, four or five feet to get in there. So it's close, but not quite enough. So I think what I'll do is I will buy another section of maybe, I don't know, four foot, and then I will clip it in up here and then run this through um, to get into the building. But I can at least today um, cut this and get it halfway. A couple days have passed and the wire has arrived. So I got black and red five foot and black and red at 10 foot. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this connected to both the panels. Now I'm not gonna connect it all the way to my shed yet because I wanna go ahead and rearrange the electronics down there. Um, but for the purpose of this video, we'll go ahead and get this wire installed. So each panel has a positive and a negative. So what I'm gonna do is connect the positive to the negative of the next panel. And let me wrap this around a time or two to keep it from hanging down too low here. So basically, by connecting the positive and negative together of these two panels, I now have one giant panel here, and I'm gonna connect the red, and this of course is the positive. So it looks like over here is what I need. Okay, so this positive is gonna go down there, and then I've got 
the overall negative here from the two panels. All right, and hopefully this reaches down here to the bottom. All right, so yeah, we got plenty of room down here. If I were to connect these two together, we've got probably an extra two feet or so of uh, this wire that's hanging down. So excellent. Let's go ahead and do the last one here. This is the 100 watt panel. I'm gonna connect it here and bring it back over there as well, just as I did with the other one. So uh, it's pretty simple and I think will work out very well. All right, like I said, I'm not gonna connect this to my shed yet because I wanna make sure I have all the wiring done first. If you've enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe for more content here on solar power. I'm gonna be adding a second set of panels back here whenever I build my 20 by 30 shop. So there'll be a lot more coming up to do with solar. I'm Seth with Land the House and I will see you in the next video. Bye.